So since the 70s, all 3D engines have been built on top of the same technology. But why? Yo, Gabby. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Just work with the heater. We're building the easiest, goopiest 3D engine directly from the browser. We've reinvented how geometry works. You can easily melt different shapes together in a non-destructive workflow. Let me explain why this is such a big deal for 3D. Traditional modeling software makes shapes out of meshes, which are defined by points with specific coordinates. Imagine building a cube out of paper. After I cut out the sides, I can't go back and change them because they need to connect to each other. So if you wanted to join things, you're going to have to try to cut that paper and try to fit things in there without leaving any gaps. Like That's extremely complex, and it, you might as well start from scratch. This causes a lot of problems for 3D artists. Changing textures or changing the model itself is almost impossible without undoing your work. Which is why Gabby decided to go with a different technique, using volumes. Imagine that you get to build a solid cube out of clay instead of a hollow one out of paper. Suddenly, you're able to move things around with ease. Because if you move one point, it will naturally pull on all the other points and change them dynamically. She calls this gooping. It works because instead of defining points by a single position, they're defined by an equation that shows the relationship between points. This allows you to do all sorts of things that traditional 3D can't. Dynamic textures, dynamic objects, real-time rendering straight from the cloud. People are making all kinds of things with this tech. But no matter how much artists love it, Gabby is never satisfied. We've basically rebuilt the mob five times. <laughs> We're actually doing that again now. You're building it from scratch yes, again? Yes, we're building it from scratch wow. again now so that it's better and more powerful. Because it's not yeah. good enough. It needs to be better, it needs to be more powerful, and it needs to be, I don't know, goopier. <laughs> Hello.